Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we are going to learn how to import accounts and contacts via Import Wizard. With the Data Import Wizard, you can import your users' business accounts and contacts from Outlook or any program that can save data in the CSV format such as Excel. In this screencast, I have received a file with the list of contacts and accounts that I would like to import into Salesforce via Import Wizard. Open the CSV and review the column headings to make sure they are named appropriately. In this CSV, I will rename F name as first name, contact number as phone and change the rest. Make sure all required fields are in the CSV and populated. This can be done by going to an account record and cross-referencing the field names or clicking Edit to see required fields. Add a owner column to the import file and specify the owner of each account and contact. Enter the owner's username or full name. For example, jsmith at acme.com or Joe Smith. If you do not add an owner ID, then the user importing the record will be the owner. I will add the username of another user in this org, which is Poe Dameran. Save the file and log into the org. Click on the gear icon and click Setup. In the Quick Find box, enter Import and click on Data Import Wizard. Scroll down and click on Launch Wizard. In this screencast, I will click on Accounts and Contact. In the next column under What do you want to do? Select Add New Records. I will leave matching and other criteria unchecked since these are new records. I will leave trigger workflow rules and processes for new and updated records unchecked. I will select a record type from the drop down menu and leave Assign All Contacts to a Campaign. I will drag the CSV file from my desktop into the wizard. You can also click the CSV category you are using and then navigate to the file. Otherwise, there are options for other files to select. I will leave Choose a Character Code method for the file. I will select Comma as a value separator. Click Next. The Data Import Wizard maps as many of your data fields as possible two standard Salesforce data fields. But if the wizard cannot map the fields, you must do it manually. Unmapped fields are not imported into Salesforce. Scan the list of mapped data fields and locate the unmapped fields. Click Map to the left of each unmapped field. In this example, I will click on Map next to Street. I will type Street and select the appropriate field to map to. 10 fields can be mapped to a field. Click Map. To change mappings that Salesforce perform automatically, click Change to the left of the appropriate field. I will click Change next to Phone and delete the Salesforce fields I do not want to map. Then click Map and click Next. Review your import information. This page shows what objects and record selections were made and how many mapped and unmapped fields there are. If any changes need to be made, click on Previous. Otherwise, click on Start Import. A dialog box will appear and click OK. The bulk data load page will appear and this will show if the records were imported successfully. Let's check the import. Go to the Accounts tab 
and select the new This Week list view. Notice the new records that have been added from the import. Please keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you will need read and edit permissions for the object. If you are interested in importing records and do not have those permissions, please contact your system administrator for assistance. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.